Hey guys, welcome back to another easy and simple hair tutorial. Yes, you heard me right. This is a very, very simple hair tutorial, and we're just going to need a parting comb and some bobby pins. So, to start with, I'm going to do a middle section partition. I'm just going to do um, a square at the top middle part of my hair, just as you see. Not a huge chunk of hair it's just a small part um, you don't want to put a, this a lot of hair at this point some little but you, you'll see at the end why we need to put hair away but yes so for this section I'm going to put it away then I'll work on the remaining part of the hair I'll come back to this part later so uh, for the remaining bit of the hair you want to smoothen out one side of course the side of your liking for me it's this side um, and then once you smoothen it out you just want to hold it down randomly with bobby pins at whatever distance away from the hairline that you want to show and this will just be you know to create some um, You'll see in the end, I don't know how to describe that, but yeah. And then, for the remaining bit of this hairstyle, we're just going to do um, twirling and rolling and pinning. Basically that, so yeah. You start just taking out uh, small chunks of hair. And this hair, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, sectioning randomly, but trying to make sure that the chunk of hair that I'm picking out is, um, you know, moderately um, the same you don't want one chunk to be very big and then the other one to be very small and then for the first bit I'm just going to bobby pin it around the, the you know the bobby pins that I used to secure this side of the hair so I'll just pin it around there so that you don't see those pins um, because we, we don't want anybody to know what we've done there but you know we've done it <laughs> And then, uh, so I'll just continue with this. You know, I take out a section, I trail it a little bit, and then I, I roll it um, in my fingers, and then I tuck it and pin it with bobby pins. So simple. Piece of hair, trail it a bit, roll it around your fingers, pin it down using bobby pins. Just as simple as that. And that is all you need. So you just need to continue taking you know, small chunks of hair and doing that. I mean, if you don't, if, if you don't trust your instincts, and this I'm very much heavy on. If you do not trust your instincts, please use a mirror. Use a front and back mirror. It can always help you um, see what you're doing behind um, at the back of your head. For me, I am pretty comfortable <laughs> doing these hairstyles without a mirror. I, I don't know. I think I've just done too much of these hairstyles. I love bobby pin hairstyles. If you hear about a bobby pin hairstyle, count me in. So yeah, I've done a lot of these and now I can just do it even without a mirror and worry you know, how it will turn out. So I did this blindly. Um, yeah. And then now for the front set. So uh, you see here, I had to turn up the front because now I need to make sure that the front... Um, you know the, the, the trials at the front are proportional with the ones at the back so I had to come start from the front and then I'll again meet the remaining bit of the hair at the back so again just random piecing out sections and you know twirling and will be pinning it down and then um, I think once I'm done with, the, with that section of the hair I'll, I'll, I'll almost be like 70% done with this hairstyle. Oh, by the way, this hairstyle took me 15 minutes. Okay, so that, that was 15 minutes plus me trying to set up cameras and, you know, trying to, to see how best I can record lighting and all that. So it means this hairstyle can take you close to 10 minutes. It's very easy. It's very quick. You know, very quickly jump off and, you know, you, you still look good. So... It doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, I mean, you see seven minutes because I did a lot of edits, but yeah, without edits, it, the raw the raw footage is fifteen minutes, sixteen minutes. So anyway, to the front section. <laughs> so for the front, the reason I I threw away this front section, I didn't want to do all 
have this whole thing around my hair. At this point, I wanted to direct my hair, so I thought, you know, why not try it um in a directed way? Because I want, I still want these. Um, honestly, I don't know if it's left or right, but this side that I I really pin. I think for now it's on my left. Yeah. So the I wanted the, that left, left side to be very much visible and pronounced. I didn't want any sort of bubbles coming um, away. So that's why I had to like the hair side and then I'm trailing it in like on uh, the side that I don't want to I don't want um there. Yeah. So I'm doing these three um so the Taking a piece of hair and loosely trailing it around and then and then I'm going to inside that trail and then I'll hide that loose hair inside the hair that I've just trailed. So until the last chunk of hair I'm going to trail it and then as you can see I'm just Bending it and then I will be pin it there, but ensuring that the remaining loose hair I'm taking it in the towel that I made on that cornrow. And this is basically it. So, I mean, you can go in with accessories. This is my favorite accessory, and it turns out really great. So, you can do the accessories. If you do not have it, you can also comfortably go out to the house. But yeah, so this is the final look. I'm going to turn around you guys to see how this turned out. That is the side, or the side turned out pretty perfect. Let me know in the comments. But yes, that's the final look. You know what you think in the comment section, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.